I did that video. Why do you hate the Igbos in their own country? Hello, great people. Are you there? I want to say Nigeria, how market? The intention was to continue to bring the Igbo people down, but you are seeing the consequences. Hmm. Nigeria, high market. Hmm. Why hate the Igbos? Hmm. Will it really help Nigeria? You hear people say, how will I vote for an Igbo man when my brother is contesting? Some said, instead of an Igbo man to rule this country, we will destroy it. A lot of things were said. Can you imagine? Meanwhile, let me play this video for you first. After seeing the video, then we'll come back to look at it again. Hmm. We are in soup now. You don't understand. Just watch this video. I respect people like Obasanjo, Body George, Faturo um, Barrister, Faturo B. I don't know, I can't pronounce his name well. Uh, all different tribes, Aisha Yusuf, different people from the north, from the south, from the west, from the east. It was a choice between good and evil. It was a choice between progress and retrogression. Can't you see the Labour Party, they have brought out how much they spent in their election. I voted for APC, for House of Representatives. I voted for Labour Party governorship. I voted for PDP, one other elections. So I voted for different parties. I'm non-partisan, but I selected people that I knew I could, uh, they, that they could come out tops. So, I mean, do, that could perform. I made mistakes in some places. The governor we voted for here in Delta State is doing well. Is doing well, is doing well. So, but your choice is your choice. And we have made a choice. Let us settle down with this choice and harvest whatever we have planted. I made a post. Why do you hate Igbos in their own country? People traumatize me, attack me, abuse me. Usually I don't care, I don't care. I didn't answer any of those posts. But let me ask you a question. The Igbo man will be the last man to suffer the consequences of economic hardship. If the price of dollar goes very high, he will import things. He will transfer the cost to you who is buying from him. He will transfer the cost. If the cost of diesel goes up, you go to buy things from anywhere from a nature that he produces. He will transfer the cost to you. He's running businesses all over the country. He will transfer the cost to you. Most of those of you who are religionist, regionalist, tribalist, partisan, um, what, what, what will I call you, partisan Mongols. You don't have anything in your economy in terms of tribe. You don't have anything. Most of the economy of Lagos is owned by outsiders. The economy in several states outside the eastern states is owned by different tribes, different nationalities. You will suffer. You've made the wrong choice. Bear the pain. Don't go into the streets. These men will come after you. After some time. We, me, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Because all the ones Kokori did, he died in the hospital in Nigeria, no person carried him overseas. I'm not going to fight the fight of the poor man. No, he is his greatest enemy. And so, next time you have the, the chance to choose, choose rightly. Po poverty has no religion. Poverty has no tribe. Poverty has no region. In fact, the poorest regions support corruption most in this country. You see your shame? Somebody, they forged the signature, he didn't even know. You see your shame? Okay, continue. On this mandate, we shall stand. He will last, 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 but... <laughs> I just did laugh for now. I remain Dr. Charles Apoki. Whether I'm your friend or not, I don't care. I am my own friend. God bless you. Hello, have you seen that? The man you are seeing is not an evil man. Yes, he is not an evil man, but he saw what was coming. And it was like a prophecy, though his own was not a prophecy, it was prediction. It was something he was sure of. You know, there are certain things that will happen, you could predict, this will be the outcome.
He saw everything and he was advising Nigerians. And like he said, the poor people are their greatest enemies. Please note, the Igbo people are not coming to protest. We are not joining the protest. And some people have been querying why? We are not joining the protest. We are not part of the problem. Some are wondering, has the Igbo people started feeling what we are feeling? I don't even know. Perhaps. But, you know, they could contend with it. Who knows? You are doing certain things. You are thinking you are you want um, it will hurt the Igbo people. Now it's backfiring on you. I'm not even going to advise you because I know Nigeria. When it happens again, I know what they will do. They will repeat their mistakes. Some people say they will die if instead of an Igbo man to be president. It is now hunger that will treat your fuck up. Maybe what you wished is coming to you. It is somehow, okay, the guy you saw, the man you saw was laughing. It's not really a laughing matter. Can you see? If you want to hurt the Igbo man, they are in business everywhere. Whatever you make hard for them, for example, if you increase the price of anything, the Igbo man will buy that thing, will still do business and transfer the cost to you. That is what he's saying. The retail market in this country, we have always said it. You know who holds it. They will buy and sell. Whatever. Even dollar goes to 10000 They will continue buying and selling. But the cost will be transferred to you. The margin they take in business is what they will take. He said the poorest region in this country support corruption. Apart from the eastern part of the country. Go and check other parts of the country, other regions. You realize that they are not the ones holding their economy. It is so. But you want to hurt the Igbo man. Who started the protest? And you want the Igbo man to join you. The Igbo man is saying Tinubu should do his eight years because it's like anyone who comes up there will do eight years. This is our choice. Even though uh, the people in power took it by force, but most of you helped it happen. You said, rather than allow the Igbo man have it, some fought somewhere at the polling units, helping to snatch ballot papers, some threw eye neck. Some of them have taken their, oh no, they are not feeling it, they have stolen money. There is what Pito B said that this man continued to re echo. Whether you are a Muslim, you are a Christian, you are a Northerner, you are a Southerner. You will not buy Gary differently. You will not buy rice differently. You will not buy diesel differently. So for you people who carry religion on your head, for you people who, who are tribalistic, you will not buy things differently, better than others. But you will not think. You help make it happen. How many people are these people who are really not? How many are they? Few people that are putting us in this trouble. But because of we, you, the poor masses, help them to grab power. Including the pastors. Yes, he's my tribe. I have to vote for him. He's my tribe. The Aboru, the thugs in Lagos, the ones who receive certain amount of money. The money has since finished. We are on the same level. He said, let us harvest what we have planted. Why hate the Igbos? Some of you for hating the Igbos, you are in this predicament. They say the poor you want to fight for are the ones who hate you. Look at the price of cement today, the price of building materials. Let's even leave that, that people might not have to build now. What is the price of Gary today? Beans. Look at pure water. Pure water bag. 
in River State, they reach. Yes, they were happy. B2B must not win there. In Lagos State, they did it. Even in some part of Southeast, they did it. B2B must not win. Now look at the consequences upon the whole nation. We are in it. And let me tell you, the Igbos are not joining any protest. We must harvest what we have planted. Like he said, Nigeria, how market? How market? I'll leave it at that. Please share widely. 